Hi my Tubies, it's me Sheila True Love and I'm back with you again and today we're going to do he said she said you know how I love that so much we're dealing with Derek Jackson again and that's Derek J-A-X-N I would advise you incredibly to go to his channel because this man speaks with so much wisdom and this is the reason why I'm single I'm dating yes but I'm still single because if I can't find a man like this one, may I forever be single. Today we're going to be talking about sometimes your single friends, they just might be right. You have so many women who they say, well, you can't even keep a man. Where's your man at? Because you're single, whatever. Why should I listen to you? Let's listen to what one of these women have to say. I'm going to keep it brief. Stop listening to your single lonely ass friends okay they don't got no man so they don't know what it takes to keep one all right your man be knowing what you talking about you know you ain't got no bum ass thing you got a grown ass man in your life who knows how to lead but he can't lead a bitch who don't I listen know. if you don't listen bitch you lose your sponsor you lose your sponsor then you out here talking about niggas ain't shit okay no bitch you ain't shit Stop listening to your ain't shit ass motherfucking friends so oh. you can keep your man, your sponsor, and your motherfucking bills paid, okay? Some of y'all just don't even get it. Oh my god! Oh, no. oh my god! <laughs> Dirk is getting ready to cut into this. Did you see the language on that woman? I would never use such language. I am a Christian woman, and trust me, don't associate that language with my channel. I was just sitting up here recording this woman here. That's how she felt about it. You know, if I could have went bleep, bleep, bleep over some of her words. Yeah, I, Derek says some things too. Uh, yeah, but let's check out what Derek had to say about, what, do, stop listening to your single friends because they ain't got no man. How can they tell you about something? Really? Are you serious? Check this out. I agree with her on one thing. The part where she said, stop listening to your friends. Yeah, I agree with her on that, except not for the reasons that she gave. If you got friends that think like her, then yeah, stop listening to your friends. Friends. That you heard what he said? If you have friends that think like her, you heard how she thinks. Stop listening to these single women. Where's they man? Whatever. She thinks she got a man. She has a man who has what? Community penis? You want exclusive penis. She really thinks she got a man. Really? Let's listen to Derek, honey. She's a fool. You think that a man is grown simply because he's sponsoring you and he's paying for your bills? Because yes, there are some amazing guys out here, but they do a whole hell of a lot more than simply pay your bills. Or a woman that thinks just because another woman is single, then that makes her opinion invalid. Or that she's bitter and she's lonely. Because quiet is kept... Yeah, you know, I like what he said. Just because a woman is single, you think that she's bitter and that she's lonely. But like he's getting ready to tell you as quiet as it's kept. Single women, man, we're not, it's not about being lonely. We can date whoever the hell we want. I could go out of the day. I could go out there and get any man I want right now, right now. I bet you, you being married, you can't do what I do. You stay stuck. And watch what Derek exposed you to. And it's true. Because when you look at the statistics, you have more married people who are lonely. They're married, but they're lonelier than anybody who's single. Check it out. I could, he could say it better. That old lonely stereotype really doesn't belong with single women. Check this out. I'll backtrack. The quiet is kept. That old lonely stereotype really doesn't belong with single women. Single women can call up any dude that they want, go on dates, go out to nightclubs and all of that. The loneliest women in the world are those women who are in a relationship with a guy who's out acting single and cheating on them and leaving them at home alone. And, you know, they ain't got nobody to cuddle with and keep them warm and all of that. So if it's anything that y'all women should try to avoid, it's being in that situation. And while we at it, we can go ahead and throw out the bitter stereotype, too, because the moment you start talking about your standards and what mistreatment you you won't tolerate there's always somebody ready to call you bitter not just somebody is that true and it's true the moment you sit up here and tell people how i'm not going to tolerate a man a disrespect to me i'm not going to tolerate a man sitting around here looking and listening after other women i have standards no you won't come into my home at any old god-given hour that you choose to i'm not accepting that and no you cannot emotionally abuse me nor physically abuse me you know what they say she's bitter or she's just bitter no, it's not a matter of bitter. It's called having standards and knowing my worth. As 
The reason why I put another a man on here because normally people will say, well, that's just a woman's viewpoint. No, you're hearing it straight from a man. A man. And I have other men who address the same issue the same way that Derek Jackson, J-A-X-N, address this issue it's true more specifically dudes who are trash and they're ever so trusty pick me women but that single friend of yours she might know what she's talking about because she's dealt with a man who's just like the one that you got and she knows how that story ends you know and she's probably the is that not a good point we've dealt with men that you're dealing with we know how it ends we know how it ends. I, I, I see a lot of married p women today. They're sitting up here thinking that they all that and whatever. Let me tell you something. Anytime a woman is doing the heavy lifting financially, what does that tell you? The reason why that man is with you. Are you paying most of the bills? He's using his money to pay off his car, to clear up his credit, to throw a crumb here and there to you or whatever. But you're paying the bulk of the bills. And you want to actually sit here and think that he's with me because he loves me? Really? <laughs> Any woman could keep a man if she's doing the financial heavy lifting. You know? You know what I'm saying? Especially if you have a man who has a job. You know what I think? I think you should quit your job. So you could maybe be, I don't know, quit your job because he's working. He got enough money to take care of the family. You could take that free time that you have to be doing more th things that are more, uh, wh what is that? You know, like out in the ministry, like helping to make disciples. Let him pay for the bills and everything while you just take time to minister to people. The woman should be doing that. Is he really there because he loves you? Or is it because you're doing the financial heavy lifting? And to put that to the test, I say, leave your job. You have a husband. He makes more than enough money to take care of you, a decent rent, and the family. Let's put that to the test and see where he his heart is really at. Is it because he loves you? If he does, mm. I think he would agree that you could quit your job or at least just do part-time, babe. You know, because especially if you're a woman who is a spiritual woman. You know, you know that the Bible says that we're supposed to go out there and make disciples. You need time to do that. So you should be quitting that full-time job and let your husband. <laughs> Let's see where the love is at for real. One that's seeing him out disrespecting you with other women. And she knows that whenever you digmatized and you're dependent on a man, it's hard for you to see it yourself. So she's trying to get through to you. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be thinking with your own mind or you should let other people outside your relationship dictate what goes on inside. What I am saying is, don't write off your friend strictly because she's single. Okay. And at some point, y'all gotta learn to kill that whole keep a man nonsense. That comes from a time whenever a woman couldn't survive without a man. But these days- You heard what he just said? Women have got to get past that. I got to do whatever it takes to keep a man. Whatever it means to keep a man. We're past that stage. We're past that. Women are making their own money now. Back in biblical times, you know how women, you couldn't hardly get a job. There was prostitution. She had to do house cleaning or something like that. Uh, no, no. Women are making their own money now. So we don't have to do whatever it takes just to keep the man. Let him abuse me, use me, disrespect me, talk to me in your kind of way. Mm-hmm. Beat me up down in the basement. Whatever the hell. You know how that goes. Do whatever it takes to keep your man. So you can say, well, you see, I'm still married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course you're still married, sweetheart. You do all the financial heavy lifting. You take on all the abuse. You totally lost who you are. You don't even know who you are. You sit up here and... um. Whatever this person tells you to think, that's what you think. You can no longer think on your own. You don't even have a mind of your own anymore. Really? And I have to ask this question. I really have to ask this question for all these married women who think that they got all of this stuff. I've been married for this amount of time. And they, what man is going to leave a woman when she's paying most of the bills? She's doing most of the financial heavy lifting. I say, quit your job. <laughs> Live off of his income. Let's see if he really, really loves you. Let's try that.
days, y'all have no excuse not to be getting your own money. Because whenever you are your sponsor, you can never lose your sponsor. And if anything, instead I love what he just said here. You know how women have these men that they're, 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 he's my sponsor. He pays for all the bills. You have some women who are with men who actually pay the bills or whatever. So they put up with his abuse. You know, I just saw a relationship. It was with a gay couple. They were gay. It was just there's two guys. This guy was with this other man. I don't. I don't even understand that. The man blacked his eye and everything else. Man blacked his eye. Everything. The, the, the one who had the black eye, he had a little part-time job. And the one who blacked his eye had a full-time job, was doing all the financial, whatever, if you will. And so he had to put up with all of this abuse. Of course, I looked at that video. I was looking at it on my, 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 my uh, cell phone when I was coming. I was like, really? Really? Unbelievable. This is, this, we're, we're we, you know me, we address narcissism. This person who was beating that person like that, just because you uh, talk to your friend over the phone, just because, I don't know, the, the, the water for the tea wasn't hot enough. Uh, th this is craziness, you know? And I know a female who really thinks that she got it going on, that she got this great husband, she believes, Mm. Yeah, of course, we could all have great husbands if we all did the heavy lifting financially, paying most of the bills. Really. Of trying to keep a man, you need to be asking questions like, is he even worth being kept? Or what is he doing to keep you? And by keep you, I mean keep you happy. Not just keep you dependent or keep you coming back whenever he loses you. Because let me tell you something else. There are a lot of women today that are living with an STD that they can't get rid of because of the man that they was keeping. And the Hello. fact that he was out cheating and was bringing home something that she got to live with for the rest of her life. And who do we address in that situation? A lot of these women are doing everything that they can to hold on to a man who brings home an STD. They just do anything to hang on to some man. What? Again? I, I think you've seen my previous videos. This just brings to mind Cynthia, my sister-in-law. Made Beyonce look like a boy, hot, slamming body. The girl was educated. She was very articulate, well-spoken. She was the type that said, I don't care what he does. You know, as long as he treats me right, he could go out there and do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. Because she had that type of, how you say, attitude or belief. She's dead now. She died of AIDS. She died of AIDS. He died six months later. Because she was sitting up there holding on to a man. Well, she didn't care whether he was out there doing whatever he do. I, I, I can't even. I can't even deal with that. I. Mm-mm. I... And there are other women who are in jail because they was ride or dying for the man that they was keeping. Yeah. Or women that died at the hands of the man that they was keeping. And something that a lot of people don't like to talk about, but there are some women today that grew up emotionally scarred because they was getting touched on as little girls by these dudes because their mama wanted to keep a man any man by any means necessary so that single friend that you got that's telling you that you deserve more she might not be hating on you she might be trying to help you avoid those situations but if they you heard what he said so that fr single friend who's trying to tell you what's up you automatically say yeah well you just saying that because you jealous and because you single and because you ain't got no man honey if she wanted a man she could easily go out there and get a man honey for real no you just may want to listen to that single friend because she's been where you've been she recognized the signs she knows what time it is guess what she knows what's up so every time a single friend is trying to tell you something sometimes you need to take that into consideration really end of the day, it don't matter what she say, it don't matter what I say or anybody else, if you aren't first willing to help yourself. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I'll, I'll let y'all later. I, yeah, Peace. I'll hear you. I'll tell you what I think in the comments. You know what all these people said in the comments? Out of De De the name of it is called Your Single Friend. Your Single Friend Might Be Right. Derek Jackson, check out that. You know, every time a single person tries to give somebody who's in a relationship or somebody who's married some good advice because they can see, they listen to what you're saying to them and they can, they, or they, you don't even have to, they don't even have to talk to you about what is going on.
Sometimes you can see it. Just like I saw with this girlfriend of mine, we was going to a, a, a assembly and she was doing all the heavy lifting. Her husband was carrying just his briefcase and uh, nothing else. She had to the, the carry the big thermos thing, you know, the water thermos thing, her bag strapped all on her. She was doing all the heavy lifting. He was walking down there to the assembly hall, all carefree with just a little briefcase. She was lugging everything. Why? To hold on to a man. So she could say, guess what? I got a husband and I've been married for this and so and so amount of years. Yeah, of course you're married still that much, honey. You're a mule. You're a workhorse mule. She pays mostly all the bills. He pays his money to clear up his credit, pay for his, 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 his car. Now, I've seen my I've seen that girlfriend of mine. She knows what's up. If she ever looks at my videos, she knows who I'm talking to. Any man would say with you when you're doing all the financial heavy lifting, I say put it to the test. Really? Do they love you for you and they're staying with you because they love you? Okay, quit your job. He has, he what? He went to school, got his, what, his master's, his bachelor's. He got a better paying job. Live off of his income. While you go out in the ministry and, 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 and go out there to make disciples, let's just live off of his income. <laughs> let's see where that would be. Anyway, I had to bring this out, man, because um, all of this sitting up here, uh, people want to always say that women who are single is because you're jealous. You know, there are a lot of women out here who don't want to get married. They don't want to get married. A lot of women have already did their bid. They've done their time. A lot of women have never been married because they don't want to get married. They're looking at the statistics of the divorce rate. It's not that they can't get a man. Anybody could get a man. Come on, for real? Really? Do I need to take this camera outside and you walk with me and talk with me and I can show you how fast it is to get a man? Bring him back to my house. I can have this man stay in my house for as long as I want him to. You want to bet? I might do a video on that just to prove my point. It's easy to have a man. Any single woman can have a man. That's not hard. Okay? She the true love. You always have a choice. Please choose wisely. Don't choose a man who's only with you because you do the heavy lifting and because, you know, uh, you're easy to manipulate. <laughs> really? She the true love. Until next time, bye for now.